Do you judge yourself? Ask yourself that question. I figured I'd open up this one and ask you guys something for once. <laughs> Welcome back to another podcast, everybody. Now being sponsored by FluffyMattresses.com, where you can save 15% off your next... I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> I would never do that. Well, um, it's just I've been listening to podcasts lately, and they're always running these sponsorships for the first like 20 minutes of the actual podcast before they actually get to what they're talking about and i don't know if if you guys have you guys probably listen to podcasts right now if you're listening to me but it's the most annoying thing ever (laughs) so i figured i would get you guys with that one but really guys think about it though um the idea of judging yourself how often do you do it it's just it's been a reoccurring thing with me on especially talking about on these podcasts but i finished up with um a a client session this evening went really well on everything and uh my client one of my clients is just doing so well with you know her diet with her nutrition and everything and um basically she had gone from doing this low carb um ketogenic type diet for you know two years and in a, a span of just like a I would say like almost overnight, she went out and bought groceries and started just transitioning to introducing more carbohydrates in her diet. And she's like a week, two weeks into this and she's just doing amazing. But, you know, she does this, keeps this food log and everything was writing about it, how great she feels. But she closed off one day saying, you know, I feel like I probably need to reduce my calories this week. And I read it and we, you know, we talked tonight and I was like, well, why do you feel like you need to reduce your calories? And she just said, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I just feel like it's probably, I feel like I'm almost eating too much. I could be doing so much better. Um, I could be moving faster. I'm like, you've already moved tremendously fast. Like you've done what most people try to do in the course of, you know, a week, two weeks, however long we've been doing this, you d- did that. It takes normally it takes people like months, if not a year, years to do that. Like I, I wish I could have done that. And you, I mean, you think you want to stop now? And then we started going on more into you know the judgments coming from you know this the scale and everything like that, and how much I can impede progress, but. Um, then that got me thinking about what I wanted to talk about tonight, and that was uh, how often we judge ourselves. Um, well, for, I mean, well, what am I doing, guys? I have to do the formal introduction. <laughs> no, I, I guess I kind of already did that, but that's just how scatterbrained I am today. If you guys are new to the podcast and everything, we talk about mental health, obviously, with the uh, few minutes I've already gotten into already. Mental health issues, primarily eating disorders. Um, body image disorders, I almost said dysmorphia for a second, which is, I guess, applicable in this case. Um, Also, depression, anxiety, obsessive compulsive disorder, and so on. So um, this is the mental health podcast slash Eric's daily, um, if it's a daily thing, Eric's thoughts for the day. I feel like that's kind of what it's gotten into, guys. So, you know, if you guys, I, I always ask for, you know, I guess, I was going to say um, progress for whatever reason, that last word, but <laughs> I always ask for feedback if you guys ever have any feedback to give me when in the comments, in the, you know, whether it's an email. Um, I just, you know, guys, I want to thank you again. I think there's two of you who've left in the actual library um, or what am I saying library for? Online store. Um, actual feedback so that's great guys like i really appreciate that so if you guys continue would would continue to do that that'd be fantastic it always just means a lot to me i'm checking right now feels weird to do this on (laughs) on air (laughs) um yeah so uh jelly two three four five six and uh heather um heather the llama i wonder i wonder who that could be um Candid observations and thoughtful introspection on health ranging from fitness to nutrition to emotions and societal perspe- perceptions thereof. Eric speaks from a place of, place of sincerity that comes across as wholly refreshing. 
if you want a co- podcast that cuts the BS, then look no further. I really, uh, really appreciate you taking the time to write that, Heather, if you're listening right now. Um, but, but yeah, guys, I mean, I feel like, you know, I always sit down, um, especially with, you know, the, the different areas I take with my life and, um, I judge everything I do. It's like even this podcast right now, I'm sitting down and I'm like, you know, what are you trying to accomplish with this? And then I, you know, think about the numerous times that I talk to you guys and I tell you the fact that I'm passionate about helping with pe- people with nutrition, with, um, you know, mental health issues with everything. I mean, even I'm talking with my clients tonight and I'm just like, you know, I'm, I'm at a point right now within, I guess the whole, um, coaching thing that I'm touching on a lot of, um, mental health issues. And it's like, we're talking about two different things. Um, and so I find myself talking about it more, getting more and more passionate about it. And so, um, that's a, that's a positive to it, you know, but, and I just feel like everything I do has always had to have had had to have had um has always there's always have has to have been a goal behind it and trying to get yourself out of that mindset is the hardest fucking thing in the world hardest thing um and that could that could be just judging yourself that could be that um i mean i judge myself in pretty much every area of my life for example like i've been talking or i guess you can say was talking to uh a girl um for you know the past few weeks and you know we stopped talking over the past few days slash week for whatever reason and i was thinking about it today and even if it's just like some stupid text message or a snapchat and you know the lack thereof that i'm getting from her or that i'm returning i, sh- I could i could be the one to initiate conversation but then again i'm i'm you know me so i choose to think that it's something um you know i i basically assume that it's all my doing pretty much and you know i i I thought about it myself and uh today a lot and i was like you know it's probably probably just me something i said um you know probably the way i i talk um or just the approach i took to to the relationship with her i mean it's just a friendship i just use the word relationship i guess for this context for whatever reason but you know, I, I, it's such a, it's a, it's a, I guess, mindset that I've always had. And I know a lot of you listening right now can probably relate to it. Um, heavy, 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 heavy on, you know, the dieting, fitness, nutrition world. Um, society is taught us to second guess ourselves, to judge ourselves, every action that we take. Um, I did a fucking taco eating contest yesterday which is really dope. Drove up to um, uh, Dana Point, competed at uh, the Gringo Bandito Taco Eating Contest, and um, and met you know all of the people I competed with on Battle of the Big Eaters. Bob Shout, Molly Skyler, even met up with Kobayashi. I met Wee Man, all this stuff, and I was I was literally guys. I was eating on stage in front of thousands of stoned out drunk ass people but it was still fucking awesome because i was in the middle uh some 41 actually played a set and then the offspring played their set after we had done so basically they cleared the entire stage for us but um after the contest i was like man i should have done that differently i should have um you know i should have taken a different approach to it i mean i should have gotten a different angle with my cameras i should have brought less cameras i should have done this and 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 I feel like that whole self-judgment mindset plays perfectly, for lack of a better term, uh, back of lack of <laughs> lack of a better word, into um, the internal dialogue struggle that I have going on every single day of my life. Um, you know, it's 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 become normal for me to to judge every action that I take. Um, moving forward into today. Um, I feel I feel like I've deemed Sundays as the international day of doing nothing for me <laughs> because if you guys recall last Sunday I literally I woke up and ate a bunch of food and I did nothing for the day and the exact same thing was the case for me today went out and shot a gun <laughs> my gun I should say at the range and um, I edited that taco video this morning which took like four hours but I slept in till 8 30 and uh my body was just not it was just telling me eric you just need to rest and so i did nothing today 
and um you know as a recovering i guess you can say uh compulsive exerciser slash um guy that spends way way too much time in the gym that's a fucking hard thing to do like six months ago trying to convince myself to do to become glued to my couch all day to to convince to convince myself that, that was gonna be okay was it was unthinkable you know so i have to give myself a, a lot of credit in that sense but um you know it's these self-judgments that we allow to build and build and build and build until they consume us and at times admittedly i feel like they have they do consume me for sure um it's like a it's like a never-ending thought process of never wanting to escape from that self-judgment phase like it's something we've become so accustomed to that the thought of being without that sort of um thinking is almost i mean it's not it's not realistic it's not something that we can think about or feel i guess um i wonder a lot about life i guess without the type of mindset that i have right now like i feel like there's and it's not like i guess that i talk a lot about my own mental health a lot on this podcast i'm very 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 vulnerable to you guys um again i I could go on for days about why i am that way why i choose to be that way um for those that are new i just choose to be this way because it's i feel like they're my my real subscribers my real uh friends i guess you can say friends um are listening right now real people that want to relate to me that want to reach out that want help um that want to help themselves um, that want to offer advice to me i feel like people like you guys stick around for uh something more than just the guy that eats food on youtube uh that people can uh, live vicariously through or laugh at or uh judge um you know i feel like that's that's the reason why i do this and i feel like speaking like this even if it's just me sitting down in front of a, a microphone and talking about issues like this even if it's for 20 to 30 minutes or an hour while well, i plan this one to be a little bit longer tonight but uh doing that even if it's just to help out one person or 10 people or um you know however many people it is uh, even if it's helping zero people i'm still speaking my mind and um so that's why i do this um you know i i i feel like you know with what's out there right now in society and as i you know near my graduation date for school which is mind-blowing to me um i realized that you know i've learned so much from switching my major to be a communications major to realize like how much how much uh not just i won't use the word negative shit just there's there's so much um uh hmm how do i put this i don't want it to i don't want it to come off negative i just i want you guys to understand that uh society for example makes us want to judge ourselves it makes us uh, feel uh normal by judging ourselves um that's that's why we're pushed into the the box the boxes i should say of being um you know uh naturally just you know judgmental uh, we'll jump to conclusions really easy at least i do um we'll judge others not just ourselves um based on what they do what they look like um but it's really hard guys it really is to to get yourself out of that and um you know if you're one person for example like you know if it's it, it's really guys it's it's so i guess it's it's very applicable to the numerous emails that i get every day about wanting to you know beat eating disorders and beat um you know demons when it comes to weight loss and counting calories and all this stuff um at the end of your day i mean just generally speaking not just with fitness and weight loss and all this stuff you're not you're not no one's giving you a gold medal for for how good you do for a certain thing you know i i got done with my bike ride yesterday before my taco contest and it's like I rode a fucking crazy amount, you know, and that's that's what I do before I do contests. And, um, you know, I got done with my ride and it was the longest like actual climbing session I've done on my bike in a long ass time. And um, 
I found myself like driving up there like oh did you do enough did you do enough I'm like a fucking course you did enough dude like is that judgment re- is that is that real is that rational is that is that something that's actually a valid judgment I mean don't get me wrong guys there are valid judgments to make you know um I don't I don't really come into these with a script so I'm trying to think of an example right now of a valid judgment but you know it's a, a conclusion you can come to you know if your parents are mad at you for um <laughs> taking a shit on the floor I don't know why I just thought of that but if your parents are mad at you for taking a shit on the floor um you know that's perfectly valid a, a judgment to make you know I, I guess I'm, I'm I don't want to confuse judgment with just <laughs> reality here but um you guys get what I mean you know if you're if you're really you know want to make judgments I guess on yourself um you know you get a bad grade on a test I know for me if I always got bad grades on a test I would always feel shitty um based on how it was brought up you know if I brought home a you know a D or an F I would just I was conditioned to to feel bad about myself and poorly as a person um I knew I would be disappointing somebody um but the the whole somebody thing you know for me I live alone I don't I don't I don't cater or appeal to anybody really anymore I don't I I I it's I don't know why this example came to me but I used to be a big you know I talked about fasting a lot on my channel but um when I was like 16 or 17 I would pretty much like when I was in my phase of not doing any exercise I was in high school I would literally I would I was taking off my um my ADHD medication and I knew I couldn't exercise at all at all for the day and so I would um I would come home at night and I would I would fast all day and I knew that whatever dinner there was cooking it was always like just my the way my family ate back then was very calorie dense just a lot of just um you know just stuff that was I knew was quote-unquote off limits it was seen as taboo uh to me and so I would fast all day and I knew that by eating that food it would make my parents happy um it would make my it would it would it would i guess remove i guess all like bad feelings in the house and make them think that i didn't have any issues with food but i was just starving my food all day or starving myself all day uh i know a lot of you could probably relate to that as well because i know i get a lot of um emails with the same scary trend with people but um you know, no, like the, my parents were the ones giving me the gold medal always. So now fast forward to me being a 23 year old adult. Um, no one is, is, is waiting for me when I, when my head hits the pillow every night saying, oh, good job, Eric, you get a gold star today. You can hang it up on the wall tomorrow. You know, it's, n- there's no magical fairy that's, that's giving you that it's, it's all created within your own head. It's, that's all it really is. As I as I go through each day of my life now, where um, I think it's been about two, no, definitely over three or three weeks, probably even a month now that I've been without my day to day job of being in a bike shop. Um, I've never been so focused and fixated on the thoughts that I have. It's taught me so much about myself, and that's and that's been the most horrible thing in every way possible but the, but it's also been the greatest thing in every way possible as well because it allows me to i guess see the type of human being i am when i'm not so distracted by thoughts um every day because i i've i've said this many many times but i would use that um i guess that job as a coping mechanism to run away from my thoughts to uh to not um you know, like today for today's a perfect example. I would be in, I would be at work all day, and so I would ignore not just my thoughts. I would ignore uh, eating food. I would ignore um, having fun. I would ignore uh, resting my body. I would ignore all of these things. Um, and that's probably why I wanted to talk about judgment tonight. I would want to, I'd want to talk about why. Um, you know, like as I would, I'm, I'm, I sit down every night and I think about everything I could have done differently, what would change. And I, I, that's the epitome of judging yourself right there. Um, 
you know, I've even I've <laughs> I've finished up podcasts before, guys, and I've gone, why the fuck did I not talk about what I wanted to say originally? Why did I why did I not talk about that? Why didn't I bring that up? That was perfectly it was perfectly uh I mean that's that was the that was in the subject of what I wanted to talk about tonight. Like I've even finished up videos without including like certain clips in them and I'm going, What the fuck are you doing, Eric? You wanted to that's why you made the video, idiot. Called myself a retard many, many times. Stu- stu- <laughs> stumbling over my words at the beginning of this podcast, I felt stupid. I feel like that um that's automatically gonna make you guys see me as less quote unquote credible. Um there's a term for it. There's a, like a clinical definition for it. I, st- I struggle a lot, and it's maybe just uh, with my my head, with my whole medication situation. But I've always been this way, where I uh, I'm very like I'm very one to talk without thinking before I talk, and um, I also when I'm getting information, I I almost like I look up and I think about what I'm getting, and I have to really think deeply. So I stay on track with with what I'm what I, with the information that I'm getting, and then I, I try to formulate a response, and I talk very 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 slow when I'm trying to get out information that's, um, I guess, uh, hard to convey. Like that was the case when I had to tell my boss I didn't want to you know do work or anything anymore, or at least day to day bike shop stuff, or bike bike shop stuff. Blah. Um, but. You know, I just in this context, though, everybody, I just want all of you to know that, you know, it's it's worth it to realize that, um, you know, I don't I don't realistically think that judge like self judgment and all that stuff. It's not going to end. Like it's it's I I felt like a complete douchebag the other day when I, you know, I ran I ran to the store to get something, and uh, you know, there was this this lady just letting her kid just go fucking ape shit in this aisle and I was like you know and then the 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 dad was you know whips out his his cigarette and you know walks outside with the bag of Cheetos and and just like I'm starting every judgment possible starting to fly up with me and you know them being overweight pops in the kid being overweight pops into play and I'm just like you know what man just take a step back and like listen to your yourself man like what do you tell people every day believe it or not guys I struggle myself with with judging other people's bodies. <laughs> yeah. Especially when those those people are being rude to other people, which is probably why I, I judged them because they were yelling at a, an employee at a self-checkout lane who had no way of fixing a fucking self-checkout computer. Like, come on, lady. She's not the computer whiz. She just does her job. Um, but judging is just is it's i feel like it's our our internal like just first thing to go to um it was one thing that my numerous therapists always would talk about like oh try to you know instead of um you know waking up and you see if you see yourself get bigger or you see something pop out more try to distract yourself and it's like how the fuck do you oh cool i see myself uh you know my inner side is bulging out or you know i see um, you know, I'm poking my stomach. Oh, I'm just gonna get. I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee. <laughs> Never happened. It's like no, it doesn't work like that. A lot of these techniques, I guess, in these uh, cognitive skills that are preached about, you know, by therapists, are like the fucking hardest things to do. And trust me, guys, I am not a therapist, and I'm not. I'm before I continue to say what I'm going to say if you have a therapist that's trying to teach you cognitive skills do not ignore them just because I'm sh- simply sharing my opinion that's all this really is is my opinion but um that whole way of trying to reshape your thinking is a process um so by constantly I guess working at it is 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 the real way to take it I mean I know for a fact that the the brain it adapts to just the way that you speak and those the way that you think everything um the way that you think and then the way you speak that's the way I want, that's the what i wanted to say <laughs> um so i guess you know taking every judgment that you make whether it's about your body your diet um i've always always said guys um your your diet is not your lifestyle your 
one one big thing I wanted to talk about tonight actually was your fitness is not your job. I keep talking to people, not just clients, but just people in general, just talking about fitness is I don't wake up and you know, like they talk about their fucking workout routine like it's a nine to five job and I'm like, Are you being paid? Like who is is your employer your recreational gym? <laughs> your personal trainer? <laughs> I shouldn't even laugh because it's not it's not funny at all, but it's just it's it's almost sick. At the end of the day, it really is. I mean, um, you can judge yourself, especially in this in the whole fitness world, for everything. That's what that's what the fitness world does, and that's why I'm so against it. That's why the health um, not the health industry. That's too much of an overgeneralization, but the whole nutrition world, the supplement world. It's it's meant to Man, if you're um, better, be better than the person you were yesterday. It's like, dude, like everybody is going to is going to talk about their past like they are better than they were yesterday. I do that. I was th- that I could do an entire podcast, everybody, just because I I do it so much. I talk about the fact that or the fact that like, oh man, like I used to do these twenty hour fasts and uh, binge eat you know, within an hour period, or I, oh man, I used to climb this mountain for, you know, four hours on end, man, I used to do that a few years ago, but man, I'm so much better than I am today, it's like, no, it's like, you are still the same fucking person that you were four years ago, or three months ago, or yesterday, it doesn't fucking matter, like, just because you do some sort of rigid fitness w- workout, and, um, you know, hit your 400 pound squat one day, you're not better than the person you were yesterday. You are the same person that you are today as yesterday. It's the same thing. It doesn't matter. What you did was maybe achieve a goal, but it's not going to make you a quote unquote better person. That's the true heart of the issue here. I feel like that's, that's you know, a, a, a form of rhetoric that the the industry can use to further their own agenda, which is more money. That's more moolah. <laughs> that sounds that sounds way fucking better on uh, the top of a gym and in a magazine and um, on a bumper sticker, on a t-shirt, on a supplement, you know, that's just processed fast food to sell to you than um, insert other motivational quote here, then whatever, do it by Nike, even though that's a fucking awesome quote but you guys get it it's it's i mean i could go into the the numerous forms of rhetoric that are geared to persuade you and sell you all this different shit but being better than the person you were yesterday it's like if you want to if you want to do what i just described earlier and sit down at the end of every night and judge the fuck out of every action that you took that day by all means feel free but you're gonna go clinically fucking insane (laughs) I'm like half, yeah, I would say like 40% there right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, don't worry, guys. I don't plan on going insane anytime soon. I already feel insane. Just kidding. Um, but I could I could say like, you know, what I've heard over the years. Like, oh, you're only human. You know, it's it's you're only human, blah, blah, blah. So it's like you could go the other way too. And like if you don't judge yourself enough then you um, let your flaws and imperfections kind of go by the wayside. And like, I have I have such a struggle too because like I feel like I'm giving off this, um, I guess, representation that like I'm, <laughs> I'm a perfectionist. And when I always, I laugh my fucking ass off when people say, Eric, you're a profession- perfectionist. I'm like, um, no, 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 no. Like, I am the furthest from being an imperf- or a perfectionist. I'm an imperfectionist. That's what I was just about to say. Like, trust me, if you people saw my fucking apartment, if you saw the way my car is right now, if you saw the video quality that I put out on YouTube, if you saw um, just some of the, like this, for example, I go into this completely unscripted, no idea what I'm going to say. Perfectionists would have everything li- laid out in a, on an agenda, which I actually actually took the step to actually do today for the first time ever in months write an agenda for the week but people have like plans and steps they take people are motivated that are perfectionists i am not a perfectionist at all at all 
Like if I, I, I feel like motivation plays such a huge role in being a perfectionist and I have fucking none <laughs> without sounding too pessimistic there. It's just reality. Um, and I feel like people use perfectionism as like a, a, a cop out for, um, you know, being way too, you know, rigid and just focused on the wrong things in life, at least in my opinion. But, um, I could do a, an hour long rant about perfectionism guys. Whew. Goodness gracious. I could, I feel like there's parts of my life that I am, um, I'm too, rigid and, and quote-unquote perfectionistic perfectionistic on if that's a word definitely but to generalize somebody as a perfectionist is totally i i don't i don't buy into it in this day and age um i just noticed guys that a lot of you whenever you email me or you leave comments about your stories and i love reading them love 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 obviously you know we all have traumatic pasts and everything like that but i wanted to talk about this tonight just because i feel like judgments um are so prevalent and one step is recognizing judgments that's i think that that's like the first thing is to be able to like go hey okay like i did yesterday be like okay you're judging the fuck out of yourself for doing a three and a half hour bike ride. You're you're literally judging yourself right now. Why? First of all, why? Recognizing it, asking yourself why. And then thirdly, is that really, like, is it rational to be, is that a rational judgment? Really? Like, um, could you do more than three and a half hours? Like, impossible. Eric, yeah, next week, you're going to step up to four. Yeah. That sounds that sounds more doable. Yeah, to get 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 more of those calories burned, man. Cause like, yeah, the the one in ten thousand people that you know could do what you just did, um, if that's even the case, I have no idea. Just for the sake of this, that yeah, that that just that just wasn't enough. You need to continue to to do that. Continue and, and be better. Remember what I said: be better than the person you were yesterday. <laughs> where where would that get me? Would that would that would that burn more calories for the day? That extra five hundred to seven hundred calories. That's actually funny because like I was thinking about it and I was like, um, if I did, you know, another forty minutes or whatever, um, that extra five hundred to seven hundred calories is like a you know a few tacos. <laughs> it's like cool. Like I could probably, like it wouldn't even matter in the long run, type thing. That's like the chain of thinking that my mind goes through. I'm just like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Um, but really though, it, it's, it's, it can be such a clusterfuck if you don't really wrap your head around those three steps, you know, realizing that you're judging yourself. Why are you judging yourself? And is the judgment actually realistic? Is it, is it something you should even be judging yourself for? Now, if you're in, if, if you're, you know, like me in the store, and um you know some lady's beating the shit out of her kid and she's giving her other kid you know a box of you know cigarettes or twinkies or you know a beer you can probably label that woman as a pretty poor mother <laughs> i mean i wouldn't label her that is that i mean it's it's safe to say that she probably doesn't have the best parenting skills in the world you know um, I just, I just feel like that, you know, that's, that's judging somebody else versus judging yourself. I realize that, but minim, minimizing it as much as possible is, I guess, in, in, at the, at the end of the day is all said, all said and done is the best way to do it. But, um, I don't claim to have the best or, um, most optimal way of thinking. In fact, I have probably one of the poorest, <laughs> Not the poorest ways of. I, I'm very good, everybody, with with projecting uh, thoughts that um, you know we should take day to day. But we as human beings are great at talking about things and doing things the quote unquote right way, and then we all have our certain ways of doing them. <laughs> um, I just found myself locked into like 
so many fucking judgments today like oh my goodness eric how are you 23 years old and you freaking like you know you still like just even freaking you know how are you not why are you not more clean why are you not cleaning your car why are you not um you should like you should start investing in things you should start you know building more credit you should start um you know making it you know just just trying to get more knowledgeable on certain things you should start um, educating yourself more on nutrition you should should start getting your certification for nutrition fitness and all this stuff it's like all these should 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 shoulds remove the shoulds (laughs) just remove the should and hopefully i was there was a period of time where i i was able to remove a lot of shoulds shoulds usually lead to just straight generalizations but that time i was i was a teenager so it was it was after a few therapy sessions but it didn't last obviously too long but i life was pretty good at the end of the day guys like we're talking about mental health here you know i was it's like dude i could be freaking sitting down right now without you know an arm i could be missing it's funny because i bit my finger right now i'm looking at it and i bit my finger tip and i like i could barely squeeze the trigger of my gun today and i'm like dude like it's your finger like what if that was your arm or your leg or your you know something small like you couldn't move or be like or you're a paraplegic like oh my goodness i would never be able to exercise ever again what would i do it's like that that shit things could be a lot fucking worse and we're talking about judging yourself here case in point guys (laughs) anyways everybody this has been a little bit longer of a podcast hope you guys enjoyed it guys if you have any judgments that you feel like others would uh, benefit from hearing about or you just want to speak your mind, let me know. Um, send me your emails. Always, always, always uh, accepting emails and everything like that. Um, erictheelectric at gmail.com if you're listening on iTunes. It's awesome if you could leave some uh, feedback in the store as the others have so far. And that would help out the channel greatly. Um, and, of course, if you guys are listening or watching on YouTube right now, feel free to leave a comment. The whole deal. Thanks for listening, everybody, and I will be back with the next podcast, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.